Hi, I'm Jessica Packwood. I'm a physician assistant at New Radiance Cosmetic Center in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I've been practicing since 2008 and have over 12 years of experience injecting Botox. Today we're talking about Botox, which is a bacterial toxin that when injected properly will cause temporary relaxation of the facial muscles. The reason we do this is to stop repetitive motion that causes wrinkles, and nobody likes wrinkles, so it's a great treatment. It is contraindicated in patients who have neuromuscular disorders or women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, and it is on label indicated by the FDA for our treatment of glabellar frown lines, forehead lines, and crow's feet. I do use it in other places on the face, such as in the chin, jawline, and neck. It has very minimal side effects, and it's very, very safe, and in over 10 years of experience injecting, I've never seen an allergic reaction, which is one of the most common concerns for people is that they're afraid of Botox because they're afraid they're going to have a reaction. I've never seen one. Most commonly, you'll have a little bit of injection site swelling, potentially a bruising, and you can do things at home to minimize those risks, such as stopping anything that thins your blood, including alcohol, Advil, Aleve, prescription anti-inflammatories, aspirin, over-the-counter multivitamins, fish oil, turmeric, but if you have to keep taking these things, it's okay. Worst case scenario, have a little tiny bruise, it'll go away in a few days and you can cover it with makeup. The actual injection is got very minimal discomfort, although a needle is used, it only takes about two or three minutes to do the actual injection. You can expect that when you come in, we'll do an assessment, which is very important because not everyone is a candidate for Botox. You may have excess skin on your eyelids, or you may have laxity in your brow or a low set brow, and you might not be a great candidate because this can cause unwanted side effects. That being said, most people love Botox, and you can expect your results to kick in in about 14 days. If you needed additional units beyond 14 days, we'd have you come back in for a touch-up, and it's better to do it this way to keep it looking natural. Another big concern I have with patients is that they don't want to look fake or plastic. And for that reason, I take a conservative approach and use the minimal dose necessary. And that way we can keep your results looking natural. Over a period of three to four months, the Botox will start to wear off, at which point you would come back and have another injection. So three or four injections per year should keep you wrinkle-free. And I would encourage you to come in for a free consultation. You'll be glad that you did.